alternative techniques for CPR. The routine use of mechanical CPR devices is not recommended. We already discussed that. In adult cardiac arrest, the use of mechanical CPR devices may be considered in specific settings where the delivery of high quality manual compressions may be challenging, like I talked about, or dangerous for healthcare professionals, as long as they strictly limit interruptions to CPR during deployment and removal of the device. That is so important. And I think that the problem with a lot of people who are using mechanical CPR is that they're not practicing the switch. Okay, if you work for an agency and you are currently using mechanical CPR, you guys should practice switching, like put a mannequin on the ground, start someone starts chest compressions and figure out a way that's very easy to put either your Lucas or your auto pulse or whatever device you're using on with very limited interruptions to those chest compressions. There should be a count, whoever's doing the lift, three, two, one, they lift, put them on the back onto the back rest of the Lucas device while someone's continuously does chest compressions while they set up the next part. But again, this takes practice. And if you're not practicing that and you are interrupting your chest compressions, yeah, you're not doing the best of jobs with your mechanical CPR devices. So there should be training involved with that. So right here, it says why numerous randomized control trials have demonstrated no difference in patient survival between manual CPR and mechanical CPR. There may be specific circumstances, however, in which the use of mechanical CPR devices may provide logistical or safety advantages. 